the fold to four bet is something that you're going to need to know if you're going to be like a really good 100 or 200 no limit player and above um, because you'll see these players that they'll three bet out of the big blind a lot and you're going to know okay well if i put in a thin four bet meaning like i don't do three times but it's like two or two and a half um, are they likely to fold are they likely to give that respect and a lot of the time they are i mean it's a pretty ballsy maneuver i mean this is at the point where we're just kind of kicking each other in the nuts and seeing which one of us you know falls over first but um you know it's a good play i mean it it's successful so um in these nitty times um you know it, it's going to pay to to have some brass ones and, and go after it so um the four fold to four bet like are they going to really respect that some guys just never give up and that means when they are three betting they're not three betting like they're you know seriously committed to the hand um but this should be a really interesting indicator if you know if you know they're going to be re-stealing like okay i'm going to go after this one and let them know and then squeeze um you know you should know what a squeeze play is i don't use this stat too much um just because it seems like everyone's at three or four like it's very rare to see someone at nine and when that happens then you can maybe uh re-raise uh when you see like okay well i made the raise and then someone else made the call and then someone in the big blind or, or in the small blind um throws in a three bet and it's a total squeeze play it's, it's a great move for them but it's like aha you know i know what you're up to so it's not something i've been using a lot but these are the kind of plays that when you're playing like 100 no limit six max or 200 no limit six max or 1k no limit six max you're really going to need to know um but at some point you know you're going to have to rely on your poker knowledge and your instincts as a player the hud is just there to help you in terms of multi-tabling um it's not the end all don't rely too much on it but it's a really good foundation and learning for tendencies of, of players and it's a uh, completely legal and um okay process um through most of the major poker rooms specifically poker stars and full tilt poker so let's take a look at um this hud i'm sitting at a uh, ridiculously low limit <laughs> table two cent and uh I have no idea how I have 100 hands on this guy, but I do. And you can see, you know, there's um, all the stats. Really interesting. It looks super intimidating at first, but as you add more and more stats, maybe one or two more a month, and then you get rid of one a month that you realize you're not using, you really become accustomed to it. And you'll notice I've got these stats here. This is the uh, VPIP and PFR for the table. And normally you'll see like, oh, it's right there in most HUDs, but I have put it here just to make sure that I don't chat because it's a it's kind of a leap to be chatting while you're playing. You're not paying attention to the game. You're trying to make a friend or hit on someone with a cute avatar or something. You just shouldn't be doing it um, unless you're playing with some friends and it's just for fun. So um, I put it down there as a reminder and it's actually helped me out. So anyways, uh, this is what the, the HUD looks like. And so let's, um, for some of the new people, let's color code this. And what I'm gonna do is color code the hands. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add some color ranges. So we click on hands, and right now you see the abbreviation with the H. If we bring our little table here, you can see the H is right here. Um, we're gonna actually get rid of that. Uh, it's not something we need, so it creates some room. We're just gonna know that it's uh, the number of hands. So I like this gray, and I like it if we have like 150 hands or less because that's really the point where it's like can't really make any sort of read Not to say like well at 149 I can't but at 151 I can But I mean, you got to draw the line somewhere <laughs> You know, so uh, let's add that in and then uh, Let's put uh, a little bit lighter shade for anything under say uh, a thousand and then uh, let's do 5,000. We'll pick a different color. Um, this little kind of yellowish color. And then we'll add one more. Oops. Let's do, uh, hmm, let's do this little purple for infinity here. Then we just delete that one out. All right. And so we just hit apply. And you'll notice that 
our table has changed. And fortunately, we had someone who um, apparently plays higher limits and is screwing around like I am. Uh, and so you see there's the number of hands. And that actually works out real well. I'm glad I did that. You do want to spend some time with your HUD and massage it and just do some things that are, that are a little bit fun and um, just assist you. It's what it's supposed to do. Uh, and we'll just go from there. So, um, yeah, that's, you know, very quick and easy way to add color ranges to your HUD. Uh, it's a very valuable tool, as we'll just watch me probably lose about a buck here. Um, let's go ahead and hit our flush. Yeah, that always works. Um, yeah, you can tell just the uh, anticipation is palatable, and he bets into me. So, uh, I am more than happy to raise you up here, and uh, hopefully I don't see a sick cooler with a uh, you know ace high flush, but we'll see. And he min raises me, so I'm just gonna call him. Yeah, sick cooler. I even run bad at two no limit. It's um, pretty awesome. Pretty pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you know, given his 81% range, that's uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, Pretty, pretty ridiculous situation there, but uh, given the min raise there, it just kind of felt like shoving all in it would be a mistake because it just, I mean, that's where the point where I think the math people say, shove all in, blah, blah, blah. You have huge equity. But um, at some point, you got to be a poker player, I think, and, you know, let your instincts take over and, and let the HUD guide you through the hand and, and be your foundation. But in the end, go with your instincts. I mean, that's just me. Anyways, uh, that's basically it. Um, these are all the different stats you can see. There's just a bazillion different things you can do here. And that's really why I like Hold'em Manager more than any others. Um, Hold'em Manager Poker Tracker 3 definitely have the most diverse statistics that you can bring in through here. I mean, this is just uh, crazy, like, you know, big bind, three bet versus steal. Um, so, yeah, that's probably a better stat than this uh, big blind three bet. So what I can do is just add that, move that down, and remove this. I didn't even know that was there. So uh, cool for me. And so we just hit apply and we're done. So uh, yeah, that's basically a, a little HUD primer. Hopefully you, uh, you know, you're able to go through your HUD and, and experiment and see what works for you. Again, remember it's always an ongoing process and you'll always be changing it. There's no such thing as a perfect HUD, but Ideally, there's something out there that can give you a good foundation for making good reads when you multi-table. So this is Sean for PokerSoftware.com, and thank you for watching the video.